You can drive a Honda or you can drive a Ferrari. But as we all know, luxurious performance comes with an equal price. With an MSRP of $2,300 for the Optic Ready Staccato C2, I'm going to convince you why you need this pistol in your life. Right off the bat, I want to apologize for the harshness in my voice. I'm finally getting over a nasty cold that's had me down for the past week, so please bear with me through this video. As all white girls on Twitter would say, if you can't accept me at my worst, you don't deserve me at my best. I thought it was funny. If you recently saw my video on the Staccato P, you guys already knew that this video was coming down the pipeline. This is the Staccato C2 DPO, Staccato's image of an optic ready carry size 2011. I come from the Glock world, but I've always been a fan of 1911s, especially the higher end ones. Until I fondled my first 2011, I could never see myself carrying one. With its double stack magazines that give you outstanding capacity to the widely loved ergonomics, I immediately fell in love with the 2011. While that isn't everything, we'll talk about the pure performance of this platform in a little while. Surprisingly, the price isn't what killed me. It was a 60 day lead time from Staccato. The fast track options weren't available at the time of my purchase, but it looks like they're back up and running. If you feel the need to pay that additional $275, the Cotto will knock out your pistol within 21 days. Well, I'll be the first one to tell you, I'm not a very patient person when it comes to getting a new firearm, and I'm sure you're not either. Maybe it was a good thing that Fast Track wasn't available at the time of my purchase, because that would just be an additional 275 bucks that I'd have to explain to the boss. We all know that Red Dots have taken over the pistol world, and Staccato knows this as well. They've incorporated the DPO or Dawson Precision Optic System into their pistols, it's a very robust mounting solution, capable of accepting all flavors of red dots. Sitting on top of my C2 is a Hollow Sun 508T. Titanium housing, multiple reticles, fail-safe solar backup, side-loading battery compartment, excellent feeling adjustments. Hell, I can go on about these red dots. Hollow Sun has really made their mark in the dot world, and I think they're here to stay. A great alternative to the infamous Trijicon RMR, while sharing the same footprint. This 508T was sent to me by my good friends at Euro Optic. If you're not familiar with this online retailer, I highly suggest that you get familiar. Euro Optic offers an extensive online selection of optics, firearms, and accessories at competitive prices. Unique to the Euro Optic shopping experience is their red shipping program. We all want our products to ship quick so we can throw them in our safes and never use them in training situations or real life scenarios. And these guys have made that possible. If you see this icon on the product, it means that it qualifies for one to two day shipping at no extra charge. I've personally shopped with Euro Optic in the past and can attest to the superior shipping option. The program has always been about getting shipments out as fast as possible, and now they're turning up the intensity on the shipping carrier speed as well. Specially marked items on the Euro Optic catalog that feature the red shipping logo will also feature a delivery speed. When you check out with a red order, they calculate in real time what delivery services will achieve the stated delivery speed, but it's up to the carrier at that point to make it happen. Additionally, your shipping cutoff for the day is 4 p.m. Eastern time. With the holidays right around the corner, head over to eurooptic.com and see what they can do for you. I'll leave a link to the website pinned in the first comment of this video. If you've already had the pleasure of handling any of Staccato's lineup, you know there's a connection that's made when you shoot one. The 2011 is based off John Browning's 1911 design, Formerly known as STI, Staccato is making one of the best out-of-the-box 2011s in today's market. Included with the firearm, you're going to get three 16-round magazines, a gray Staccato branded soft case, which is very nice by the way, paperwork, a sample of gun oil, and the tool needed to capture the guide rod for disassembly. Unlike the Staccato P with the Dawson toolless guide rod, 
The C2 utilizes the recoil master system. The front and rear serrations are gonna be the same as the P model, which are anything but short of excellent. I am a fan of grippy serrations, and these definitely fit the bill. With the optic being mounted, I find it much easier to rack the slide from the front. I've always been a fan of press checks and racking from the front, so the feeling is very natural to me with the C2. The Ambi thumb safety is one of the best in my opinion. It is very positive and easy to manipulate. Additionally, it also adds a nice shelf for your thumb to write on to control the little amount of recoil that is noticed with the C2. The barrel is going to be a 3.9 inch stainless steel bull barrel. DLC coating and threaded options are also available if you decide to go that route, but you're going to be paying a little bit extra. They say hindsight is 2020, and I couldn't agree more. I really wish that I went for the threaded barrel on my P, but for my everyday carry, the flush stainless barrel was perfect. For the updated models, Staccato has decided to make these barrels flush and crowned. Way to go Staccato. The accuracy is nothing to scoff at. This thing is like having an everyday carry size DMR in your holster. It is very hard to miss your target with this pistol. And trust me, it'll have no problem hurting your feelings and telling you if you suck. As you saw in my previous video of the Staccato P, 100 yard shots were near effortless. When it comes to the grip of the C2, it has a new texture from Staccato. The purist in me really wishes that they stuck with the tree bark stippling. That is by far one of my favorite textures. This texture leaves a little bit to be desired, which is why stippling is pretty commonly seen on these pistols. While the texture is not a deal breaker for me, I'll probably end up having this one stippled just like I did my Staccato P. The C2 lacks the magwell found on its bigger brother, but I find that perfectly acceptable since this was meant for concealed carry. If you have ever carried a pistol with a flared magwell, you know it is not the easiest or most comfortable thing to try and conceal, but the options are out there if you prefer a magwell. Let's talk about concealability. I'm using a QVO Tactical, more discreet inside the waistband holster and black multi-cam for my setup. I have the high sweat guard and double slim belt clips, which are my preferred options for EDC holsters. This holster is also set up to accept the Streamlight TLR7 Flex. I think everyday carry setups should utilize a light, and this one is perfect for the C2. Just shy of being flush with the muzzle, it doesn't add much weight, and it's very easy to use if needed. The 500 lumens is also a huge plus. It'll have no issues lighting up your target. Personally, I find this setup very easy to conceal. The retention and quality of QVO holsters are par none. Drawing from this setup is also a breeze. I'd highly recommend checking out QVO for your next holster. Once again, I'll leave a link to his stuff pinned in the first comment of this video. On another note, after you get your holster set up the way you want it, make sure to add a little bit of blue Loctite to the screws. I usually do this, but this time it just slipped my mind. I lost the screw from one of the belt clips and noticed while I was filming part of this review. I want to make clear though that this was no fault of QVO Tactical. Most holster manufacturers suggest using blue Loctite on the screws once you have your rig set up to your liking. I just want to remind everyone so that you don't forget like I did and end up losing a screw and feeling like a jackass. QVO was nice enough to send out some new screws and rubber bushings the very next day. Experiences like that speak volumes about a company and their customer service. Alright, back to business. The C2 is a very concealable, yet comfortable size to carry. I would say that the size is pretty close to a Glock 19. Here you can see it next to the Staccato P and you should notice a pretty sizable difference. I really couldn't imagine carrying the P inside my waistband, but I know there's a lot of people out there that do. With similar sizing to the Glock 19, the standard capacity of the G19 is 15 rounds. You're getting one extra seat to the show with the Staccato mags. 16 rounds is a great capacity for EDC. More rounds the better, right? Let's brush on the grip size. The C2 doesn't feel quite as large as the bigger Staccato P model. The 2011s are usually pretty thick girls and can be more difficult to wrap your hand around than your average double stack polymer frame pistol. I didn't find that with the C2. Granted, I do have pretty big mitts, but it was easy enough for me to get that secure grip. From a performance standpoint, the C2 is like having a high-end sports car in your hands. The four pound trigger is as crispy as KFC's fried chicken, have a minimal take up, a glass rod break, and one hell of a reset. The recipe is designed to put a smile on your face every time you pull that trigger. I did find that the slide action isn't quite as smooth as my Staccato P. The 
P feels like it is riding on ball bearings, while the C2 lacks that feeling. I was a little bit disappointed to find this, but overall, I would say that the performance factor is definitely an A+. I have a 600 round mixture of black dot ammunition 115 grain, 124 grain, and some carry ammo through this pistol with zero issues. I didn't expect to have any issues, but the confirmation is definitely a great feeling. When it comes to recoil, the C2 is excellent in hiding it. Tracking that red dot shot after shot is easily accomplished due to the minimal recoil that is actually present. I expected it to be a bit more due to the size of the C2, but man, presently surprised. I know the price of $2,300 is a pretty hard pill to swallow, but you know as well as I do, you get what you pay for. God forbid that the day comes where you have to use your pistol in a self-defense situation and it's immediately confiscated by law enforcement. I'm sure the thought of not knowing if you'll ever see it again is a gut-wrenching feeling. I guess I justify the price point with reliability and accuracy. Not a day goes by where I would hesitate to carry this gun to protect my family and the ones around me. That's something that you can't put a price on. If you're on the fence about getting one of these, I'm going to give you that little extra push and say do it with no questions asked. This is going to stay as my EDC for the foreseeable future. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so you don't miss out on my newest videos. Discount codes can always be found pinned in the first comment. I appreciate all the support. It's awesome to see the channel growing. Let's get this bad boy to 100k. Guys, as always, thank you for stopping in. Stay vigilant and I will see you next time.